another morning another day of me telling you not to look at my hair oh my god big things happening today we got our nbn box delivered and it's also day two of me trying sourdough so first of all let's start with like the mini guys so this this little one was a little experimental one that i did i will say i have added more flour and more water to it this morning to sort of help feeding it see if i can get that thing going it was probably about this size yesterday and then it deflated back down um overnight but rising back up again with just like one more teaspoon of flour and one more teaspoon of water so i'm gonna probably keep that going i don't really know what i'm doing watch me get a freaking e coli from bad flour and bad bread but here is what we're all excited to see the sourdough okay i probably announced this a little too early because it's not a complete sourdough yet it is just the dough so big reveal this is what she looks like this morning it's pretty much been like 24 hours she kind of looks like like porridge that you've microwaved <laughs> it doesn't really look that great what you're supposed to do apparently according to the instructions is tip the dough out onto a well flowered service and then let it proof for another two fucking hours and then you can bake it so let's do that ignore this angle i don't really know what to do i don't i have my tripods in boxes but i have my tripods and then the actual like clips to attach the camera to the tripods completely other places so sitting the camera on surfaces that i can fit it on is all i can do it's supposed to have a well flowered surface oh my god oh she's definitely very very sticky but she's coming off in like one clean batch smells really fruity like really nice and fruity like supposed to just fold the edges inwards with wet hands I don't really know what I'm doing my hands look gross then it says to put the dough back into a well floured bowl I'm just gonna use the same bowl I'm not gonna clean it because fuck that it has to sit there for two hours anyway mush it back into a semi reasonable thing put it back in there and let it rise for another two hours so like you can see that just sort of letting it you know move around a bit has really changed like its shape but like it's deflated quite a lot just trying to get it out of the bowl um but leave this for another two hours and then we can bake it hours to wait for that dough to be ready because I need to get on contact with freaking our internet provider turns out having an internet service is more freaking hassle than it's worth what basically we got our NBN box uh, delivered this morning I don't really know if you can see it but there's supposed to be four green dots um, that are supposed to go down here and they're supposed to go all solid green once everything is connected but the downstream and the upstream are still blinking as if they're not actually connected so what I'm thinking is that the internet provider hasn't actually connected our house to it yet and that's why it's not getting any sort of signal here which is a bit of a pain in the ass because I'm pretty sure I tried to get this connected like two weeks ago so you just flip you just flip a switch in the back end what do you what do you mean you just flip a switch you give us internet what what's so hard to understand i don't think that it, that's how it works but in my brain that's how it works and in my brain i'm pretty angry so i gave them a call they're going to give me a call back while i'm in the queue and uh in the meantime i can clean up the kitchen i can wait for that dough to rise we'll see how long it takes for them to actually call me back but then what i was also thinking if that gets done in a reasonable time and can get solutioned what if you can get solved if that problem can get solved in a reasonable time i'm gonna go to the shops and i'm gonna buy a new modem i'm thinking of getting the google nest wi-fi systems because they are a better quality wi-fi connection to put throughout the house um and also i'm just a i'm just a google slut i'm a slut for googs baby a, a, 
I'm gonna gobble that gook. That's what I wanna do. If this gets solved within a reasonable amount of time, it's like one, quarter past one right now. So I have, I have enough time left in the day. I need to stop telling myself that I don't have enough time in the day because my brain won't allow me to do anything if I think, if I perceive it to be like too late to do anything. I am also getting tested for ADHD uh, next week on Monday on the 31st. So, Good luck, good luck vibes please, give me, give me good, give me good vibes please besties. I don't like my makeup today. I know that it's a classic eyeliner but I feel like the eyeliner is too big. I need to be wearing lashes but I don't have any lashes left. I'm gonna be waiting for them in the mail, whatever. It doesn't matter, it doesn't freaking matter. Let's clean up this kitchen, eh? One disappointing thing about this place is that it doesn't have a dishwasher and like, whatever i grew up without a dishwasher i've spent fucking 25 years without a dishwasher but once you get it for 12 months you don't want to go back to life without a dishwasher and once you hand wash your dishes they just like sit out on the bench until you yourself put them away whereas with a dishwasher it just got to sit underneath the sink you didn't have to look at it it's there my shirt is so dirty today's shirt is pajama pajama sheet dirty vibes <laughs> i guess i'm pansexual <laughs> i got changed out of my garbage clothes but now i'm on hold she said she had to pull me through to the provisioning team and then just like clicked over a button can she hear me hey girl miss you i just ordered myself lunch um what did you have for lunch today i'm getting guzman's uh Getting myself an enchilada, so hope you're having a really good day today, girl. Okay, bye. I mean, I'm not saying bye. I'm not hanging up. If I'm hanging up, that is a silly wheel moment on my end. It's been like one hour, which means that I have one hour to go left on my sourdough before I can put it in the oven. I also don't know if I can be bothered to go to the shops to get the like Google Wi-Fi system. I might do it tomorrow. Or who knows, I might still do it today. Wait, no, tomorrow's Australia Day. Oh, yeah, I don't really want to do it tomorrow. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You know what I do feel like? Rice pudding. Hmm. I, I've had, like, times in my life where I've just been, like, obsessed with rice pudding, and I just go through a rice pud phase. Sorry about the way. Was... Yeah, that's fine. My girly goo, I just, I literally just got off of the phone with him and I was like, uh, hey, so how long does it usually take for this to be activated? Will it be like 24 hours, a few days? Just like, mm, can it be anywhere from like instant to 24 hours? I'm like, that's fine. Thank you. Thanks for your help. Bang. Click it. I look over this motherfucking device. I got them four dots. You can't see them on camera. But there are four dots that say that there's internet there. And I'm very excited. What? I'm very, I'm very excited. I'm obviously very excited. We have lived 12 months without good internet, without our own internet. So now it's time to fire up this old, this old girl, just to double check that everything's working, and then I can maybe then go and get a Google one. Okay, as it turns out, I don't know how to set up a Wi-Fi router. <laughs> I've been very excited to do it, but I apparently don't know how to do it. So you know what that means? It means I'm I'm gonna go buy a fucking new one. Hello. No thank you. <laughs> what what is this hunk of junk? No thanks. I want the pretty Google one. Thank you. Okay, bye. Okay, look, it has been more than two hours. It has been at least three. I've come back from the shops, I've got myself my Google Wi-Fi. Before I set that up though, it is time for this guy to go into the oven. I have like this Dutch oven pan that I've had preheating in the oven. Um, it's still quite warm to touch. I've lightly dusted flour in the bottom of it. You probably can't see, but I really like this pan. My brother um, and my sister-in-law got us this for Christmas and it's really cute and it has like a cute little gold handle. Whatever, I digress. <laughs> She's gonna look so ugly. Oh my God. It didn't really form like one nice little ball going in there. And the worst part is, is that like this, this pan is hot, so I can't really like move it around too much. Uh, <laughs> whatever, the recipe says to put the lid on and cook it for like 45 minutes with the lid on, or like 25 minutes with the lid on, and then 
18 minutes without the lid. So goodbye. But while that's baking, it's time for the good stuff, baby. We got the three Google kit. It's probably, it's probably too much to get like the three pack. I probably could have gotten away with the two, but the two pack and the three pack were the same price. So why wouldn't I just get the three pack and then have an extra node throughout the house? I will say the Google products are now supposed to have like a certain percentage of like recycled materials, but soft plastic being shrink wrapped? Come on, people. I mean, Apple's moving towards like just more paper packaging on their stuff. So come on, Google, let's be a competitor, baby. Oh my God. Okay, then out with the old and in with the new look how nice and sleek she is she has a little blinking button and now i just have to go onto my phone and set her up i'm really excited okay the internet's all set up so i'm very excited about that um we have one node here and then another node in our bedroom and i missed <laughs> i got like too excited about having the internet so i i ended up taking this guy out of the oven and i full and sliced into it so you can see like the air bubbles i feel like it could rise a little bit more, but the crust on it does taste pretty good. Um, like that nice, like chewy texture that you want out of a sourdough. Um, I would rate the tit, the, the kit, the tit. I'd rate the tit 10 out of 10. I'd rate the kit. Yeah, I'd, re I'd rate the kit probably 10 out of 10. It's pretty easy to use and easy to follow and like gives you everything that you need. There's nothing that's gonna realistically be actually a 15 minute sourdough kit because you're still gonna have to proof everything for like 24 hours but it does taste delicious and if you ever feel like getting it for a gift for someone or even just trying it for yourself um as a way to like bake yourself bread do it i'll still keep everyone updated on how i go on trying to make my little like bootleg starter out of the culture that they give us but that's it um thank you guys watching for what thank you guys for watching today's video i had fun making it and i had fun uh doing it and hopefully now that i have internet it's gonna be a whole lot more fun a whole lot more fun a whole lot more less stressful i don't know how to talk i'm a little bit excited chris isn't home yet i'm really sad anyway guys see you guys in my next video bye besties mm, bye besties bye